Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've recently gotten a lot of things from Killstar and honestly whenever I buy online I always try to find try on hauls or video reviews to get a better idea of how something is gonna look like in real life. So I thought why not? Since I got so many things from Killstar lately I'm gonna do a try on haul to show you how everything I got fits me and Hopefully you will find it helpful in case you are interested in some of these things. The first thing I want to show you is the anti-everything dress that I have here. It is super cute and it comes with these detachable fishnet sleeves. And I still haven't tried on anything, I just took everything out of the bag. So let's try it on and I'll be right back. Here's what the dress looks like on and I think it fits me perfectly. I really like it and it's super comfy. The fabric is stretchy and by the way I got an XS for everything I got today because I think Killstar sizes run a little big so I always go with an XS for me and it always fits me and sometimes it's even a little bit big. Back to the dress, I think it is lovely. I love that you can open it completely with this zipper and also that you have these detachable fishnet sleeves that come with holes for your thumbs which if you know me this is one of my favorite things. As I mentioned before I just took the things out of their bags so if you see some wrinkles that's why. I should have ironed them but I just wanted to do this video when I saw all these things so I'm sorry about that but I think everything still looks really good even if it's not ironed. This time I also got some jewelry from them because I think their accessories are the best and Here's the Dearly Departed Rosary that I think is super cute. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but it is stunning. It comes with lots of details. has this inverted cross here, which is pretty big. And it has a pentagram here, another one here, and then the usual beads for any rosary necklace. And then it comes with this uh, Killstar tag in here. I'm honestly impressed with Killstar jewelry and accessories. I think they have the best chokers and handbags up there. So if you like this style, you can't miss their accessory section because it's really, really impressive. I think it would also look super cute as a choker and you can easily tie this with, uh, I don't know, like a safety pin or something like that, uh, which is what I usually do with necklaces that are too long for me. So if you are into chokers more than long necklaces or you need it to be shorter for a specific outfit, that's something you can do easily. I also got the matching earrings because I thought I didn't have anything in my collection that would suit this. So here they are. They are also called Dearly Departed Earrings and they are super cute. They are not heavy at all. I still haven't tried them on but just by grabbing them, they don't feel heavy. That's a problem I have with some other brands, but these just feel perfect. Here's what they look like on. Again, they are pretty big, but they are not heavy. I'm not sure if you can see them or if they're moving around too much, but I am just in love with the whole set. Now moving on to something completely different. I got a slip dress that I have here. I got it in red, but it's also available in black, and this is called Fatal Farewell Night Dress, I think. And I can't wait to try this on. It looks stunning and it feels super comfy. It's really, really soft. I just love the fabric, it's perfect. But one thing is that I have to leave my bra on because it's not very family friendly. The parts that cover your boobs are quite far apart and you could see basically everything through the legs here, so bear that in mind if you're planning to get this to, you know, be at home with your family or something like that. It is very sexy but not very family friendly. It is also super short on the back, so again, just for your info, if you're planning to be around kids or your parents or something like that, this is probably not the best idea, but if you live with your partner or just on your own, this is just perfect. I hope you can see the details better now. The lace is super beautiful and wide, but as I mentioned before, this part is super open, so probably not something you will be able to wear around most people unless you have something underneath. And then it also has this tiny cross, which is like the perfect tiny detail. I'm obsessed with how this one looks like on. I love the color and the lace and everything, but I just wish it was a little bit more like this, so I could wear it more comfortably. Now I'm gonna show you probably my favorite thing from this haul. This gorgeous handbag. I just 
just adore it. I am obsessed, as I told you, with all their accessories, handbags and stuff like that. And this one is simply the perfect everyday handbag. I mean, if you want to look a little bit elegant in your everyday life, probably if you're just wearing leggings, it's not that kind of handbag. But other than that, it's just perfect. The size, the details, all about it, I'm obsessed. This bat here, come on, it's just perfect for me. Something I love about it is that it has lots of pockets, one here, one on the other side. It has this other pocket here on the back. It is really big, but I think it's not quite big enough for my cell phone, but if you have a regular size cell phone, it should fit. Now, let's open this. It still has, of course, all the paper, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And has several compartments here and a zipper in here. And then another one in here. So this one is not just gorgeous, but it's also very useful and it feels super comfy because this is super soft. I just have nothing bad to say about it. I'm in love with it. By the way, if you're new to Killstar, just so you get an idea of how stunning their handbags are, here's another one I have from them. I show it in full detail in another Killstar haul I have that I will link down below in case you want to watch it. But look at this, just stunning. Next thing I want to show you is the Ghoulies Party dress. I'm not sure if you can appreciate how beautiful it looks like on screen, but in real life it's just stunning. I think we have the first flop of the day, unfortunately, I hope it's the last, but as much as I wanted to like this dress, it just doesn't fit me right. It's not the size, it's just that it's designed for a much taller person. If you're new here, I am a little under 5'3 or 159 centimeters. So, you can tell I'm pretty small. If I were to pull this to the place where it's supposed to be, you would be probably seeing everything. This should be a lot shorter to fit me properly. And there's like this much extra fabric in here. And then I can also feel the same happening here. It falls lower than it should. And it's just not meant for my body type. If you're taller than me, you're probably gonna love this one. Size problems aside, the dress is super cute, the fabric is very stretchy and very soft, it's super comfy and I don't know, if it was my size I would love it, but unfortunately it's just not for me. Here's me from the future letting you know that once I closed it completely because I couldn't do it before with my nails, the hair wig, whatever, I had to leave it a little bit open. Once I asked for help and closed it completely, it fits me a lot better, it's still a little bit long, especially on the hips and all that, but this part, I mean, there's a little bit extra, but it's like half of what it was before, so I wanted to let you know that it's not as bad and I can wear it and I'm a lot happier now. <laughs> the next thing is a pair of shoes and if you know me, you know how excited I am about this because I am obsessed with shoes. So let me show you because they are really gorgeous. Here they are and... Oh my god, they're just so, so cute and so witchy and so shiny. I just love them. Not sure about you, but super cute. I got these ones like a month ago, but I wanted to include them in this haul as well. So you could see how cute they are. In terms of design, I have no complaints. They are really, really cute and they are quite comfy as well. The heel is quite thick, so they're super easy to walk in. Now my only problem comes with sizes. They don't have a size chart with measurements on their web, which makes it a little bit difficult to buy shoes online. Their US 8 is a European 39, and I usually get a US 8 for Demonias and Dolls Kill, but this time they are a little bit big, but from what I've heard, I'm not sure if a size smaller, that is a US 7, would have fit me properly. So I decided to play it safe and go with a bigger one. Not sure if that was a mistake, I wish I could try on smaller size to compare, but I have a feeling that a US 7 would be a tiny bit too small for me. 
Now we're moving on to the last outfit for today and here is the top. This is actually a bra, it's called Webutant Bra, but it's pretty big and I'm planning to use it as a top. Again, this is something I got like a month ago, I got this for Valentine's, but I didn't show you here on YouTube, so I thought, okay, I'm including this, the shoes and the next skirt and this hole so you can see how it looks like properly because I don't think you get such a good idea with a photo. So, super cute. It's very similar to my favorite Killstar dress which is this one. You can probably tell by now that I'm obsessed with this design because the handbag I got is also very similar to this. But, I mean, can you blame me? It's just so cute and honestly super flattering. Let me show you. But this is the Webatown Bullet Bra and I got it in a size XS, just like everything else in this haul. And it fits me perfectly. It's adjustable at the back, just like every other bra. And it also closes here. So you can decide if you keep it closed at the back or on the front. And as you can see, it is stunning. It's my favorite bra, but as I said, I'm not gonna use it as a bra, but as a top. I love crop tops and especially if I wear them with high-waisted things because I don't like showing that much skin. But if I wear it with something like here on the waist, I don't think that's too bad. And I think this looks super flattering and cute. Especially with a duster on top, like a lace one, I think that would be just perfect. But let's complete this outfit. I got a skirt for this that I have here. This is the Parabellum Maxi skirt and again I got it in a size XS. So let me put this on so I can show you the full outfit. What do you think? I am honestly obsessed with this look. It's one of my favorite Killstar outfits. I really love it. Both things are really comfortable and I don't know, especially the top is my favorite thing. Now the skirt, it's a size success but it's a little big in here. I usually have that problem with high-waisted things, uh, apart from a couple of brands that really nail my measurements. Most brands are really big in here, so I'm not upset about that because it's something that usually happens. However, I think it's one of those things that I can tell, but people won't probably tell if they see me. So, it's not really a problem, honestly. Um, apart from the waist being a little bit big, the rest is just perfect. The fabric is super stretchy, as you can probably see, so it's really comfortable. Nothing bad to say about any of these pieces, and they're stunning. I just got closer, in case you can see the fabric properly. This has a spider web texture that I hope you can see on screen. It's those tiny little details that Killstar adds to their stuff that makes them so, so beautiful and unique. But now moving on to the very last thing of this haul, I got the Angela choker. As I told you, their accessories are super high quality, especially the chokers. You can see a huge difference between Killstar chokers and most other brands or stuff with no brand. And I think it really pays out to pay a little bit more and get good things because, I don't know, you can really feel the difference. I have another one from them and it's my absolute favorite choker. I'm not sure if that quality difference is something that can be easily conveyed on screen, but if you touch this, you can see how sturdy and how like good it is. It has this Killstar brand in here on the inside and all the silver stuff is like really heavy and nice and good quality, unlike most other things you find for a lower price. This is what the choker looks like on. It is just stunning. It has like a very different twist on most chokers because most of it is just the silver chain and not like the leather part. Of course it's faux leather, just like the handbag and all their stuff, they're fully vegan. and. Super comfortable, adjustable, and just so cute. The only annoying thing is that this is clicking here, and I can really hear it, and it's going on my nerves. So, note to self, don't ever wear this choker with these earrings. Since that was the last thing for this haul, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience with Killstar. I've bought from them in the past, and I've also gotten things for free. Most of this was gifted to me, 
but I've also bought and placed orders myself. So I can tell you that the shipping experience and all that was exactly the same for both things. It usually takes around a week or eight days to deliver stuff from the European warehouse to Spain. That includes the time they take to prepare the order and then shipping time. And I have never had a problem with them. I placed orders myself and I've also gotten PR packages, but the process and the shipping company are just the same. I'm not sure if there is anything else you would like me to mention or talk about regarding these items or sizes. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I sometimes take a little bit of time to go through them because I don't check YouTube every day, but I always reply sooner or later. So if there's anything you would like to know, um, just ask me and I will do my best to reply as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next one. Bye!